that's kind of heavier. Yeah, I know. The Mythbusters homemade Confederate rocket is about to shoot for the moon. Time to return to the desert. Where things have started badly. And we're stuck. But it's only the biggest vehicle in the fleet that's stuck. So we're using every other vehicle to get it out. Jamie drove them into this mess, so he's got to dig them out. What else do we have to stick under there, anything? But they're not having much luck. And believe me, this is not a fun place to break down. We're hoping to work for the morning and then go back to the hotel, have a hacienda, work later in the day so we didn't take the heat of the sun. But no! Go ahead and pull. Pull, pull, come on, pull! At 110 degrees, reinforcements are called. And with some tow truck talent, She's out. Freed at last, Jamie swings the truck around and gets stuck again. Is there anything I could say that would make this more poignant? I don't think so. Like rats in a sinking ship, the team abandon their lamentable lorry and take all their rocket equipment with them. After finally arriving on site, the race is on to get the rocket ready and fired. And to start, Adam finishes off the cannon-inspired gun barrel. To get the launch trajectory, Adam's attaching an A-frame to it. Meanwhile, Jamie's back to pulling strings. I've run the pull cord, which opens the nitrous valve the entire distance because I want to feel what it feels like on, and have somebody watching on the other, other end to make sure that it actually worked. We're ready for the test whenever you are. Yo! Hey! That was it, right on the ball. Hey, that worked! With the quick release valve working from 500 feet, the team slide the rocket into the cannon. Favor the far side. Add the wax fuel, and then seal her up. Perfect, lovely, fabulous. You're the man, stud. What? And next up for these studs is the erection. There you go, Eric. Watch your fingers. She's nearly ready. You like it? <laughs> yeah. Jamie adds Carrie's gun cotton propellant to the base of the cannon. Wow. And that just leaves the fuel oxidizer the liquid nitrous oxide. As the team make the final preparations, it seems this hybrid rocket okay. has come a long way from the original myth. So is any part of this parable actually true? They did have gun cotton in 1865, and they did have steel. They did have nitrous oxide. Buying a rocket from a tube, totally plausible, completely within the realm of possibility. Building the rocket is one thing. Um, all of the processes that, that uh, go into actually launching it uh, make it, in my opinion, improbable, but not impossible for them to have done in that era. The Civil War rocket, improbable, but not impossible. Sure, the Mythbusters have made a few changes, but does it really stand a chance of flying the mythical 120 miles? All right, here's the percentages. 60% chance that we get a lot of flame and a lot of fuss and bother, and the rocket doesn't leave the tube. 5% chance that it blows up in the tube from too much pressure or something like that. What have I got left, 35? Yeah, I'll give 20% uh, chance of a successful launch and 15% chance of something I cannot even remotely predict. Well, let's find out. Adam's going to press the button, then Jamie will yank open the quick release valve. All right. Here goes the big boom Civil War rocket. In three, two, 
One, ignition. Something's happening. Here it goes. <laughs> Woo! I know. Me too. Yeah! <laughs> I forgot to take a picture. <laughs> Sir? Good job, Jenny. Good job, everybody. Wow. Got Good out job. of the <laughs> Great in the air. <laughs> Our first hybrid rocket. Oh. <laughs> And didn't she do well? It took a while for the nitrous oxide to mix with the fuel, but then she was off. Nice, nice work. Should we go find our rocket? Yeah. All right. Is it that thing right that way? Yeah, yeah. It's right there. Okay, so we'll, I'll pace it off while we walk out. That was a rocket. There's no two ways about it. For uh, being made out of some plumbing pipe and pipe caps, it's not half bad. That was heavy. It weighed over 200 pounds, but how far did it go? I got it! Here it is! There you go. One, two, three. Made it about 500 yards in two days. Two days, baby. Let anybody else do that and get, get something airborne like this out of plumbing parts and a visit to your lo local hardware store. <laughs> a little hubris from the Heinemann. <laughs> and rightly so. After all, they just built a rocket out of plumbing parts in 48 hours. Want to see it again? The 200-pound Civil War rocket came straight out of the barrel, but had nowhere near the thrust of modern rockets. A success but still 119 miles shorter than the myth. So there you have it, Confederate rocket. Is it busted, plausible, or confirmed? Totally busted. You know, we got airborne with stuff that they could have had, they could have put together, but uh, nowhere near 120 miles. I agree, they had access to all this technology, but putting it all together didn't happen for another, maybe even 100 years. And we made a good effort, and I'm so glad we got a launch, but this one's busted. Busted.